Hey everybody, this is Sorval. We are doing another video on Raid Shadow Legends today. So, what I want to do today is a video to help everybody out, at least for what I do with runes. So this is going to be a rune management video. And it's going to have something for everybody. For people who are just starting the game, for people who are in early game, mid game, and then even late game. So, I'm sure you guys have watched a lot of rune management videos. But, I want to show you what I do. Now, as far as ruin management goes, I take a look into it and I look at them as there's different levels of ruin management. So not all ruin management styles will work for everybody. And you do need to learn throughout the game what your level is, what you want. For example, just because people say that this piece of gear right here is not good gear, doesn't necessarily mean there's not a monster, not a champion out there who could use this. Right now, nobody's done a video on it, but I used to play Summoner's War, and this was a great gear set on that game. So in this situation, I'm just trying to say, keep your mind open. Don't always just follow exactly what everybody else says, but knowing where you're at in the game, knowing what kind of type of level of ruin management you want to be looking at, and then also knowing your champs, what you want to gear them out in, is going to make a huge part, play a huge part in your rune management system. So, we're going to start with level one. Sorry, we'll start at level zero. When you first start the game, rune management is pretty much, there is no rune management. Get as much ruins as you can and just start gearing your people course you don't want all the mm, one two and three level gear so I shouldn't say just take what you can yes it is technically like that but you're not going to be using this gear here you're not going to be using one stars and two stars and three stars you do want to be able to actually get to where you're getting four stars at bare minimum when you're starting the game and as much as possible, make sure that after you get all your champions, at least with some type of gear, that you're starting to look for speed gear. Now, so the basic of that is, you get the game, you've got it downloaded, start getting 4 star gear and above, and just gear out your monsters, your champions, whatever you want to call them. That is the beginning of the game. Pretty simple, everybody should know that. But hopefully that helps you new players. Now, we are going to go to early game. So early game is level 1. Afterwards, you want to be able to start getting gear. You want to be pushing in from 4 star here to 5 star. Brutal is going to be good for that. And you're going to be playing campaign a lot to be able to actually 6 star your champions. A lot of people have made videos on this one. Vladimir Strait is great because you can get all of this lifesteal gear, and that is so important. Another one you could go for is in the Palace of Arivia, or Arivia, whatever you want to say that as, for speed gear. And you can do that while you are speeding, or leveling your champions to level 6. The reason why you want to play campaign so much when you first start out is when you first start out, you are going to be constantly leveling in constantly getting energy and you have to get your champion to six star so campaigns where you're going to be farming and you want to be doing the palace of arabia and vladimir straight for these two pieces of gear now of course i'm not saying do only that you may want to farm other ones depending if there's a champion you want but that is up to you so that is level one we're still on getting into moving from 4 star to 5 star and above of now the other thing about level 1 is your gear you want to make sure that your gear that you're actually getting is having speed without speed on your gear all the rest of the stats don't even matter because well I mean, let's just show you I'm gonna go go ahead and do an arena battle real fast show you for your any early players that are watching this we're just going to go ahead and, well, let's just do this one here. This one I'm going to lose because this team is going to be faster than me. They have faster speed aura, and she's got a 
bigger speed boost. So there's no way I'm going to win this with my current speed aura. At least I shouldn't. So, this is why speed is so important, not just in clan boss, dungeons, arena. Oh wow, I am faster. Good grief. Whoever goes first in arena generally is going to be the winners, though. That's why speed is so important. And I didn't expect to win that one, but I did. So, if you want to be able to do something, speed is important. So make sure your gear has speed. And it just has to have a roll in speed for level 1. That is going to be your gear management at early game. Just making sure the gear you keep has at least one sub roll into speed like this. Even if it doesn't roll into anything, start getting speed gear. Now, I am going to make one qualifier here. On these levels I'm talking about, there are, as you can see, the top layer and the bottom layer here. We're not going to count these accessories because they don't generally get speed except for the banner. So we won't even go into those. We are going to only be talking about the top layers here and the bottom layers. So, when you are talking about these levels, when I'm talking about these levels and you're thinking about that, one thing I want to point out is you will always have this at a higher level of what type of speed gear you want, how much speed you want, than this one. It's much harder to get these at a higher level. For example, if you are on level 1 and you need at least one speed set of gear your early game, more than likely it will be hard for you to find speed gear on this one as well. So, take what you can for the main stats on these when you're first starting out. If you can get speed on them as well, great, but it's a lot harder to find, especially if you're a free-to-play player. If you're well and you're just constantly farming, great. But that's just one qualifier. Whatever level you're on on this, this one will generally be one level below. But, so, let's continue. Level 1, um, for what I look at the game, is just making sure your gear does have a role in speed in the substat. So, that is going to be for early game. You are going to progress fairly quickly to mid game. And that one is going to be level 2. So level 2 is really simple. I'm just doing these in fives and this is how I look at my gear. So now level 2 you want your gear to actually start rolling into speed at least by 1. If it's not rolling at least by 1 then it's not going to be better than the previous gear you're getting. It's not going to be as good. Always as much speed rolls as you can, the better, but hey, we're talking about mid-game. This is slowly climbing. These are the levels of rune management. And if you can't get them to roll into it at least one time, then what you're going to want to do is just get sell that gear. Because if you're a free-to-play player like me, you can't afford to keep gear that doesn't roll the way you want it. You have to be able to know what to sell to keep your silver. So, once again, that qualifier comes in. If you're on level 2 for rune management up here, and you want at least one roll into the, your speed gear here, more than likely, this will be on level 1, and you just want to have at least one speed here. If you can get more again, great, but it's hard to get the main stat you want and good rolls into it. So take what you can get when it comes to the bottom level here for your main stats and as much speed as possible. But this is rune management level 2. Just making sure that you get speed rolls into it. Now, this is where you are just in you've been in mid game a little while and you're pushing for end game this is where you hit level 3 so this one gets more interesting because I'm gonna now talk about some things that everybody in this game should be aware of when they are looking at speed rolls so you need to be able to know what can be rolled into your gear like how much a roll can actually be from maximum to minimum so for example a level 5 piece of gear is what you should be looking at when you're in mid game moving on to end game and you're 
in level three for ruin management. You want to be able to look at a level five piece of gear and look at your speed. The important thing to note here is your gear on a level five piece can start off as, let's see if I can find some for you guys so I can show an example. No, that one's crit rate, here we go. This one can start off as five. If you got a level five piece of gear, that's great. That's what you want. And that's the thing about level three is you want at least two rules into it if you can get it. And you're looking for hopefully maximum rolls on a level five gear. Keep in mind a level six will always be better chance for rolling to higher levels of speed because not only can a level six piece start off at six instead of five, but it can also roll into six extra speed. While a level five piece of gear can only re roll into an extra four or five. And that is crucial when you're thinking about keeping a piece or not. But for now, level three is just knowing where a level piece, if it's a level five, it can start at four or five, and it can go up another four or five speed rolls for each time it rolls into speed. That's so important to remember. If it's a level six piece, it can start at four, five, or six, but also roll into four, five, and six. And you're hoping that you get a six star piece and it rolls at the basic six and it rolls six 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 all the way through and you're not always gonna get that lucky but that is what you're hoping for for these gear so level three now that we've gone ahead and explained how speed rules work like that as far as what you, they can roll into and as far as what they can start out as if it's a five level or a six star piece let's explain more on level three so level three you just want to be for room management level three making sure you get at least two rules into the speed stat for example this one this is a level three management this one's got two rules into it it's 12 and so if we're looking at this this was a level five originally so more than likely it started off as a four piece we got our probably roll of five, which brought it up to nine. And then another roll, no, this one would have been two rolls of four. So it was started off as a four, rolled into a four, which brought it up to eight, rolled into another four, which brought it up to 12. That's important to note. So level three, this is going to be a level three management and you're going to want two rolls in your speed subs as much as possible for level three management once again more than likely these will be your ruin management at level 12. right now i would say i am in ruin management level three moving to level four and this is the next important part and one side note i want to make before we continue each champion can be at a different level of rune management depending on if you're trying to gear out more champions i mean if you're well you're constantly spending money on the game constantly playing constantly getting gear you can have better rune management and be more stable on your levels but for example you need to be able to keep enough gear with that level of rune management Otherwise, you're starting over from the levels just trying to gear out a new champion. So keep that in mind. Instead of just selling everything off, try to keep some so you can keep your level of rune management stable. Don't just sell everything that's not in your rune management level. Anyways, so level three, once again, is just getting two speed rules. Now we are gonna go into level four. So level four is pretty close to level three, but it, it plays a part into knowing what does the gear start off at. So for example, this one right here, let's just get rid of it. This is crit damage. Mm, it rolled two in resistance. I'm gonna keep that because I'm still a little playing around with things. What I want to do with my characters, I've only got 
half a dozen, a dozen, six stars. I don't have enough to know what I want to keep for ruin management. I'll go through and clean when I need to, but for now I'll keep stuff like that. But let's get back on topic. So, not that one. No, let's find one that I can explain on. Okay, this one will be a good one. So, level four here. This is where you need to pass a certain threshold to keep a piece of gear for level four rune management. This one is a five piece. As you can see, the starting point is four speed. So in this circumstance, for me to be able to keep this as level four rune management, it needs to actually hit 15 or above. To do that, you'd need this actually to start at a five for a good chance. It could still hit this, but it has to roll all three into speed. Like even if it hits five and five, it's not good enough for level four rune management because it'll only be at 14. If it goes into something else afterwards, it's not good enough. So that's the thing about level four rune management where you're moving to late game even further and or you are in late, late game. You need to be able to make sure that all pieces of gear that you keep is going to be 15 or above on speed. And that's why it's so crucial to know, hey, should I keep this piece? If you're running through a dungeon and you get this piece here, if this was a blue level five, it's gone right away because it started at four, it can't reach 15 or above because even if it gets two max rolls, it hit 14. So it's not worth keeping at that point in time. That's why it's so important to know, hey, what does it start out at? Is it a five piece or six piece? Can it roll plus four, plus five, plus six? You have to be able to keep this in mind as you're running your dungeons and actually looking for ruin management. For example, this one is a six star. This one has the capability and possibility of actually being level four ruin management. And I'll be honest with you, most people will stay in level four ruin management for a very long time. And in this situation, you're looking for the two not perfect rolls. It can have three different rolls on this one. It's a six star, so it can roll into four. Well, I'll just show you. Let's just go ahead and upgrade it. So this one should roll another five and plus six. I don't actually know if a level six can roll plus four. I don't think it can actually. If it's following the same standards as Summer's War, it can't. So that's another reason why six stars are so important, but we'll find out. So that roll is six. So now I just need another roll into four if it can, or another five to keep this piece. So let's go ahead and do it. Wow, this should not be failing so much. And I hope this does help you guys all out with your rune managements. So you can understand when you're running a dungeon, hey, should I keep this piece? Should I even bother rolling into it? All right, so another six roll. This is definitely level four ruin management. This is so worth keeping. Not only does it roll twice in the speed like I want it, but it also is a six star and it is a speed set. So great to keep. So that's a great one, that's a keeper. So, if you can keep six stars at some point in level four ruin management, it's just better to save blue six stars and blue five stars are not worth keeping anymore. See this one? This is level three ruin management. Only reason I still have it is because it has accuracy on it and I've already rolled it up to 16. But it's, like I said, it's so important to understand, hey, what can this go into? If we're looking at this one, no, not that one. This one right here. This one, the maximum roll that it could go into is three times six. That's another 18, 24. This could go into 24, right? So we got 12, 18, 24, if it gets maximum perfect rolls. And a lot of your pieces are going to be blue star six pieces or epic pieces for six star. Because honestly, these ones right here are not gonna roll as good they have too many chances going to everything else. So most of your best pieces for speed are actually gonna be epic gear 
or blue pieces for the longest time. So, once again, before we move on to level 5 ruin management, which a lot of people are not going to get into, again, keep that in mind, or if they are getting into it, they're going to be fluctuating between ruin management level 4 and 5 because of the champions that they need to gear out. But once again, before we move on, if this is going to be at level 4 ruin management, more than likely this is going to be still at level 3 ruin management. Once again, right now I'm at level 3 up here, and I'm just doing what I can to keep speed. As you can see, I'm still at ruin level 2 here. Or no. That's just one, isn't it? Because I didn't even roll a piece into it. So I've got really crappy gear. So, you guys can kind of see a pattern of where I'm going with this, what my thought process is. And I'm hoping this is helping you guys as we go. So end game, completely end game. It's all about how much speed can you build your champion with. Especially in arena. And so, now we are going to be looking at ruin level 5 management. So, the next one, if you've already guessed it here, it's just going to be ones that roll... And 20 or more. If you can't get a piece that can roll 20 or more, not worth keeping. So, once you get past the point where you have enough level 3 rune management, sorry, level 4 rune management gear where it's 15 or above, and you want to keep some of those at all times so you can gear out new champions whenever you want to. The next thing is starting to work on your existing champions and getting them to level 5 rune management. So if you're looking to gear out somebody like Xavier here, so I've got a crit rate. For me, we're not going to use that one. This one here we go. So, if, let's say, she had 15 speed on this one, and I wanted her to have 20 plus speed on all of her gear, it's not very realistic to have on all of it. You still have to modify everything, but we're just talking about speed rune and level management here because it's so important. I would need to get a 6 star for 1 piece. 5 stars will not do it anymore for level 5. So it has to be all 6 stars, and this will you'll start to see your silver climb because you're selling so much. But not only does it have to be a 6 star, it has to be epic or above. Blue gear will not do it anymore for level 5 management has to be epic or above. Like this one, this is a great piece, but for le ruin level 5 management for speed, it has to roll three times into speed to get that 20 or above speed. But like I said earlier, you're going to be fluctuating between level 4 and level 5. And this does not just go into speed gear. There's also ruin management level for crit rate as well. Same thing. Crit rate can only roll so much, so keep that in mind when you are farming. What do you want to keep? Does it have enough speed? Will you be able to get the speed you are currently shooting for? And if it doesn't, just sell it right off the bat. Don't even try to roll into it. A lot of people will try and just roll into everything, but if you understand the levels of rune management, that I have in my mind here because I've spent a lot of time playing Summoner's War, then you know that certain pieces are just not worth keeping. Like, I want to keep all of these pieces for me because I have a hard time finding what I want in the sub rolls for the bottom layer here. And eventually I won't, and I will start selling those even more as well. But for these pieces, I'm getting close to level 3 level management for all of them moving on to level 4. I'll be selling a lot more, it'll be a lot easier to save your silver, and you won't be wasting as much. So, anyways, that's pretty much my five levels of ruin management. The way I look at the game, I'm not saying it's the best, it's just the way I look at the game, the way I've always played as a free-to-play player, because I can't afford to just try to roll into everything. And understanding how far and how high a piece can go, is going to extremely help you out through the game. 
If you get a lot of pieces out there and you're on level 3 rune management that are starting out 5 star and they're rolling at starting at the 4 as well, most unlikely those are not worth it. But I'm rambling on. I've already gone through the 5 levels of rune management. What you can think about this for speed runes and even crit rates and other things depending on what you're looking for at the time. And just selling them at, right out at the gate instead of having to like think about it later on. I hope this video does help all of you guys with your own management systems, what to look for, and I hope that knowing what a piece of gear can start at and how much it can roll into helps a lot for you guys as well. Thanks for watching. If you watched the whole video, leave comments below. Thanks for watching. Sorval out.